We are here at the Infineon booth at Electronica 2024 in Munich, and Infineon's PSOC series is something that you're probably familiar with if you've been watching Electromaker for a while. We did a design contest on one of the earlier PSOC generations, but things, like all things in the industry, have changed somewhat. The PSOC Edge is a series of MCUs specifically designed for Edge AI, and they range from incredibly high power units with a lot of compute, right down to the sort of always-on devices that you would expect to find um, at the other end of the scale, all which are AI ready. But of course, it's all well and good talking about the silicon, but what we really want to see are examples of it working. Now, I'm joined by Javier from HTech, who are partnering, partnering with Infineon to show how Edge AI can fit into a solar setup. So Javier, what is the demo that you have to show us here today? Yes, hello, thank you for introduction. Like here, we are showcasing the capabilities of the piece of Edge that you were commenting, that is especially designed for AI applications, since it has an AI accelerator integrated on it. In case of this application specifically, this board is integrating a neural network device right now, that is able to predict the duty cycle that needs to be integrated in the DC-DC converter to adapt the power electricity that is generated in the solar panel before it can be deployed into the electrical grid of the city or any device that you want to use it for. In the past, this process was done by traditional approaches that they are iteratively calculating the optimal point as an MPPT tracker, like the optimal point. However, for this approach, you need to be iteration, like little by little, like maybe 15, 20 iterations to find the optimal value but all the energy that you could be harvesting during that time, you are wasting it, so that is not what we want. Like We are trying to move into green energies that they are efficient and good for the environment too. So here, our solution is able to predict the optimal value with more than a 99% accuracy in only one iteration. That thanks to the optimization that we did of the neural network, as well as the PCL edge capabilities, it takes less than 0.3 milliseconds. So it is incredibly fast. In comparison with other competitors like Cortex-M platforms, that it takes like seven milliseconds. This is like more than 20 times faster. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and I mean, uh, the, some of the savings there obviously come, like you say, from the speed with which you are able to make these predictions and the overall uh, savings you get in terms of the power that you save. But I suppose another large part of it is that for the longest time, anything to do with AI took such a huge amount of compute and wasn't able to be done at a lower power level. Um, are the newer generation of MCUs the things that are kind of able to help you make things like this work in the AI realm, as it were? Yes, right now, like this piece of edge has a lot of capabilities for AI. Like here, we're showcasing only this small reduced neural network that is like not so large, but it has been proven that it works with also larger, like for example, like image computing, like processing like the YOLO model for target detection, image recognition. So it has plenty of capabilities for general applications of AI while ensuring the low latency and low energy consumption for these applications. Absolutely. And um, as I mentioned at the top of this interview, you're probably familiar with the PSOC series, but like so many things in the industry now, it's moving towards AI. And this is a perfect example of what it is doing in the wild. Now, if you're interested in finding out anything more about the PSOC Edge from Infineon or what HTech are doing with Solar, we will make sure that there are links to all of that under the video. There'll be an accompanying blog post to this video as well. But for now, Javier, thank you so much for giving me your time thank today. Thank you so much for your time.